This is a video demonstration on how to make a Pioneer bonnet for any of the girls and the women who are needing to make a bonnet for the Pioneer trek. Um, one of my goals in doing this was to make it easy. We don't want to have to sew and press and have every seam be perfect because we want, first of all, we want the girls to have a great experience and to feel like they've done, they can sew and they can do a great job. So again, no ironing. There's just three parts here to cut out. And there's one hard part as we go through the demonstration that I'll tell you about. But other than that, it's quite easy. When I sat down to make these bonnets, I can do one bonnet from start to finish in about 20 to 25 minutes. So it's quite simple. Um, I would recommend before you start this, you, this is um, a very stiff interfacing that was very inexpensive. Give all your girls um, this piece to use for the brim, just to cut out ahead of time. And then if you want to um, make a paper pattern of the back of the bonnet, it's a wise thing to have the girls cut it out ahead of time if you're going to do a big group, so kind of an activity on Young Women's Night. Um, the other things that you'll need to have, um, each girl needs to come with two-thirds a yard of fabric, and um, you should have a, some large safety pins and some elastic that's cut, oh, and my elastic will come back to that. Elastic that's about five inches long. You'll need some straight pins. And then I also purchased some transparent thread so that when we're doing a big group sew, we don't have to worry about changing our, our uh, thread every single time a different girl sits down because that can really cut into time and we just, we want this to move very, very seamlessly. So you need to cut one bonnet back this is about 17 inches by 15 inches. This pattern is a modified version of a simplicity pattern that I used. The simplicity one was a little boofier. It just, it, I just didn't like it as well. So I modified it and did this. Um, and then cut two brim pieces. The interface, again, you'll already have had cut for each girl to use as a pattern. And then you'll need chin straps that are about 22 inches by three inches. And, um, have them cut that out ahead of time. Great. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to sew the brim. You want to take the two brim pieces of fabric and you want to put the two pretty sides together and then layer that on top of your interfacing. And then as I've done here, you'll just want to, in my little instructions, you'll just want to sew the three curved sides together. So, when you've done those two steps, the next step is you come and all the way around the edge here you want to take little snips. You never want to cut into the actual thread line or else you're going to have to re-sew. And girls, they don't like to re-sew, so be sure that they don't come to that line. So you'll do that all the way around so that it'll ease. Then, this is fun, you'll take it and you'll flip the fabric. And then you'll just sew about a quarter inch seam all the way around that curved edge. It gives it a finished look and then it also helps it keep its stiffness. It helps to support that. So again, cut around the edges, flip, sew the finished edge with, the, with a quarter inch seam. Okay, moving on. All right, the next thing that you'll wanna do is you'll want to sew a tunnel, the very bottom of the bonnet. It's got that little lip that comes down. You wanna flip that up and sew a seam there because you will thread in this little tunnel here, you'll thread your elastic in at the very end. So sew that and then you'll want to take your sewing machine, you'll want to stitch around the curved part of the bonnet. When that is done, you'll take the top thread here and this is always fun. You don't need to do two rows of gathering, which often you'll do. Just one row is fine and just take it and just ease those gathers around the very top. And you can see, this is really not rocket science. Very, very quick, very, very easy. You'll just go all the way around. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just relatively even. So the girls have a great experience again. Very easy. So, brilliant. Okay, now I want to say I did say earlier there is going to be one kind of a difficult part. This is the difficult part, so you're going to want to pay attention. You're going to need to find the midway point of the brim and the back. Put a little snip in that. 
You can even do that ahead of time and help the girls out to mark those. And usually, somewhere, there's my halfway point. You will just ease it around. This is when a really nice selection of um, pins comes in handy. Lots and lots, and I could say lots and lots and even more straight pins. Because if the girls have to unpick anything, it will probably be this. And no one who sews wants to ever unpick anything that we sew. Yeah. So, okay, so mark your halfway points, line them up, put a pin right there. Then pin the edge here. Can you see that? Clip, edge, pretty sides together, always, always pretty sides together or you're going to have a really odd looking bonnet. Pretty sides together. Okay. You're listening to Jetty Phillips music. She's wonderful pioneer songs that she's got. Okay, and then just come honestly every inch. Come in and put a pin. Come in, put a pin. How they say measure twice, cut once. Well, pin so you never have to unpick this. So anyway, you'll pin all that together, and then you'll come in, and you'll um, put that under the sewing machine, and you'll stitch all the way around. You'll stitch all the way around, pull all your pins out. Very easy. I may have to unpick this because I did it so quick. Hopefully you don't. Ease it along a little bit. I want you to notice how I'm not really feeling like every single seam has to be perfect. Take that out of the sewing machine. That's the hard part. You are done with the hard part. Okay, let's come in now. See how the bonnet is boofy? It's got that little puff in the back that we all like, but this is loose, so we want to come in now. And again, you can you can pin this if you want, but I don't pin unless I have to. Okay, come in. You can do. My mom always called this stitch in the ditch. Thanks to my mom, I learned how to sew on my wonderful Bernina. Just come in, make a little stitch all the way back, pulling back the fabric. Almost done. Very easy. Oh, I've got a pin stuck in there. Always take all your pins out. Don't even worry about clipping your threads until the very end. Okay, and there you have it. I know this is an unfinished edge, and if you really want to go through extra work, you can finish it off. I think it's three days and it's fine. So, that is done. Now you want to take safety pins. Be sure and have a good set of large safety pins. Take the safety pin with the elastic attached to it. Uh, bring it all the way through the tunnel, threading that through. Now I'll stitch that down. Easy. Don't cut your threads till the very end. You don't want to waste time. Do it all at once. Okay, thread it all the way through. All the way through. All the way through. Okay. Take the pin out. Look at all those threads. It's kind of a mess right now, but you clean those up and you'll, you'll do well. Okay, the next thing, um, some girls, if we don't really want to sew, we want to sew as little as possible, you could use ribbons and you could attach a ribbon to the side for your chin strap, um, or not, or what the pattern recommends is you have sewn your strap, you sew right down the 